Hello, this is Lawless Nate. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install SKSE and how to enable the memory patch within SKSE. SKSE itself uh, does not add anything to the game, but other mods which are more complicated require SKSE to function. The memory patch um, makes the game much, much, much more stable. So I'm going to show you how to install SKSE and how to enable the memory patch. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is to actually install SKSE itself. I will have the website for SKSE linked in the description, so just download it from there. Once you download it, uh, keep track of it. I like to keep files like this on the desktop because that's where I like to do my work. Uh, once you have that file and you have your eye on it, go to your Skyrim folder. And if you have Skyrim installed through Steam, then you're going to go to uh, Local Disk C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Skyrim. Make sure not to go into any folders within the Skyrim folder, just be in the Skyrim folder. And you'll know you're in the right place if you see tesv.exe, or it might just be tesv for you, or skyrimlauncher.exe, and again, it might just be Skyrim Launcher for you. Once you see that, you know you're in the right place. So keep that uh, Skyrim folder open. Go back to your SKSE, open that, with uh, whatever archiver you want to use, be it 7-zip, WinRAR, etc. Open up that, and you should see all of these files. Click on the data file. Don't open it, just click it so it's highlighted. And then click and drag the data folder over to the Skyrim folder. And make sure not to put it within any of the folders inside the Skyrim folder. Put it on one of the loose files, anything that isn't a folder. And when you do that, it's going to ask, uh, or it's going to say, uh, you already have a data folder, would you like to merge these two data folders? And you're going to click yes, and that will merge the folders. Uh, ignore, go back to your uh, SKSE download, ignore the SRC folder, you should see a bunch of loose files, and they all start with SKSE. Uh, select all of those files, and then click and drag, and bring them over to your Skyrim folder. And again, don't bring them on top of a folder within the Skyrim folder, or it'll, it'll go into that specific folder, and you do not want that to happen. Just bring it onto one of the loose files, and they should all go into that Skyrim folder without any problems. And uh, that's it. Now you have SKSE installed. One very important thing to note is you will no longer be uh, playing Skyrim through the traditional launcher, which means for the time being, you can't just go to Steam, go to Skyrim and click play because that uses the traditional launcher. There is a way to uh, have it so that when you go to Steam and click play on Skyrim that it uses the SKSE launcher, but I'm not going to be showing that in this video. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to do that, I can provide one. Give me a comment saying you want to know how to do that and I'll make the video, but if you know if no one wants it, I'm not going to make it. Back to the uh, download. Uh, SKSE is downloaded. Uh, in order to play Skyrim now, you want to go to SKSE Loader .exe, and you, it might just be SKSE Loader for you, that's fine. Uh, that's the file you're going to click on to play Skyrim now. And if you don't want to keep finding this folder to play Skyrim, you can just right click on SKSE Loader, go to create shortcut, it will create a shortcut for you, then you can take that shortcut and just drag it to your desktop. And then, lo and behold, you have this file here now on your desktop, and you can just click on that, and it will launch Skyrim for you. Uh, so that's very important to know. Play Skyrim through SKSE Loader. Now, to enable the memory patch is uh, also pretty simple. Uh, once you're in your Skyrim folder, you should still be in there. Go to your data folder, go inside of that, and um, you probably won't have nearly as many things as I have in here. but. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to your SKSE folder. If you don't have one, don't worry. Just right click new folder and then name it all capitals SKSE. I already have one, so I don't have to worry about that. And uh, there probably won't be anything in there, and there definitely won't be anything in there if you just made the SKSE folder. Don't worry about that. Right click new text document. My bad, my bad. Within the text document, you want to uh, copy and paste this text from the description of this video and make sure it looks exactly like this in the notepad file. Be very, very careful that it looks exactly like this. Then you want to go to File, Save As, name it 
capital S K S E, all caps, and then period, and then all lowercase I N I. So it'll say S K S E dot I N I. Then below that it should say save as type. It should be on text documents. Change that to all files. Then just click the save button and you will have uh, everything you need. It should look like this, skse.ini, you open it up and it says all of this. Uh, once you've done that, you have the memory patch enabled. It's that simple. And uh, I'm just going to say this one more time, just to make sure we're clear on this. You now start the game through skse loader. That is now how you start the game. Just making sure of that. I've helped friends do this before and they've always forgotten that. Um, thank you for watching. If this helped you, if this helped you, then uh, please leave a like and uh, go ahead and leave a comment telling me that I helped you because I like to hear that. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.